السلام علیکم جینٹل مین ٹو ڈے دا ٹاپک وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی از سیمیٹریکل کمپوننٹس اینڈ سیکوینس نیٹ ورکس ایز یو نو دیٹ دا سیمیٹریکل کمپوننٹس اٹ مینس دیٹ دا کمپوننٹس آف اے پرٹیکولر فیزر بیکمس ان سیمیٹری اینڈ دا ادر ون از بیسیکلی اباؤٹ دا سیکوینس رائٹ دا نیٹ ورکس از ان اے پراپر سیکوینس رائٹ سو ان دس پرٹیکولر کیس وی ہیو تھری سیکوینسز ایز یو نو دا فسٹ سیکوینس از اباؤٹ دا پازیٹیو ون اینڈ دا سیکنڈ ون از نیگیٹیو اینڈ دا تھرڈ ون از زیرو سیکوینس رائٹ ایز ویل ایز سیمیٹریکل کمپوننٹس رائٹ سو ان کیس آف سیمیٹریکل کمپوننٹس بیسیکلی وی آر وی ہیو ٹو ڈیل ود we have to deal with unbalanced polyphase circuits unbalanced polyphase circuits okay what is meant by unbalanced for polyphase circuits polyphase means that they have different phases they have more than two phases right they can be three phase they can be five phase they can be seven phase okay so they, they can have different phases and unbalanced means that these phases are not properly balanced means at one place at one phase the voltage is high as compared to the other phases or on the two or three uh, phases on the two to three phases there are different voltages that are not balanced means not equal okay so in order to deal with this polyphase uh, unbalanced polyphase circuits the symmetrical components method of symmetrical components symmetrical components has been introduced and now let me tell you that this method was introduced by Fortescue was introduced by CL for Tesco in 1891 okay so uh, his work proves that an unbalanced system of n related parameters can be of the origin uh, can be resolved into n systems of balanced phasors called the symmetrical components right so let me write it his work proves that an unbalanced system of n related parameters related phasors and related phasors can be resolved into n systems can be resolved into n systems of balanced phasors and these balanced phasors are known as symmetrical components okay and these balanced phasors are called as symmetrical components okay so now let me elaborate it that let's suppose we have three phase system right so we can divide this uh, three phase system but in this three phase system we have the unbalanced system right 
of n related phasors means n balance system of three phasors right that can be resolved into n systems of balanced phasors means if we have a system having the three related phasors that can be turned that can be resolved into a system of three into three systems of balanced phasors how i will prove it and then you will be able to know about it into the detail okay so uh, let's move forward so that i can complete its theory i can give you a brief concept about its theory and then we will move forward towards different mathematical parameters the n phasors of each set of components are equal in length and the angles between adjacent phasors of the set are equal okay let me tell you that the n phasors of each sets n phasors across each set of components each set of components are equal in magnitude uh, or equal in length right and the angle between and angle between these phasors adjacent fig phasors you can see that these adjacent phasors of the sets now let us discuss that how the analysis can be done for this purpose let me start with another topic that synthesis of unsymmetrical phasors and symmetrical phasors from their symmetrical components from their symmetrical components right we have to synthesize we have to make unsymmetrical phasors by using their symmetrical components okay so now we will look at this topic but before looking at this topic let me tell you that according to the fortescue theorem according to fortescue theorem three unbalanced phasors three unbalanced phasors of a three phase system can be resolved into can be resolved into three balanced systems of phasors systems of phasors the balanced sets of the components are the balanced sets of the components the balanced sets of components are first one is the positive sequence second one is negative and the third one is negative sequence 
and third one is zero sequence okay coming on to the positive sequence they are equally mm, this three phases three phases are equal in magnitude displaced from each other by 120 degree 120 degree of phase difference okay and in the last thing we have this as same phase sequence as original same phase sequence as original phases right so this is basically their description three phases are equal in magnitude 120 degree of phase difference and same phase sequence as original phases now this one negative sequence components ne in the negative sequence components we all we again have three phases right having equal magnitude three phases of equal magnitude but one displaced at 120 degree from each other displaced at 180 displaced at 120 degree from each other and after it they are having the phase sequence opposite to phase sequence opposite to original phaser and now the third thing the zero sequence the zero sequence components again consist of three phasers of equal magnitude of equal magnitude with zero phase displacement from each other they are at 0 degree phase displacement from each other okay so this is basically the three phasers the three sequences the three sequence components indeed the positive sequence components the negative sequence components and the zero sequence components when we have a three phase system right so this is basically their introduction so now we will discuss that how we will deal with them so first of all we will draw the graphical diagram of the components right let's assume that we have this particular diagram v a here we have v b here and v c here okay v a v b and this one is v c right as you can see as you can watch that these three phases are not equal not balanced ones right these are different phases which are present here so now we will draw some of the phases which are which can be uh, added to make the to make it a balanced system so for this purpose what we will see that first of all this is the set of original phases we are assuming it that this is the set of original phases then first of all we will draw the positive sequence components of these phases positive sequence components 
so for positive sequence components we will draw it in phase a this is b and here we have this as c now you can watch that here we have VA, here we have VC, and here we have VB. Now, this is basically a symmetrical component set, right? These, these two are symmetrical. As I have told you earlier, that three phasors are equal in magnitude, 120 degree of phase difference, same as uh, same phase uh, phase sequence as of original phasors, right? So all these three steps are basically uh, satisfied here, right? And what we are going to uh, synthesize, we are going to synthesize unsymmetrical phasors from symmetrical components. So this is basically unsymmetrical components and here we have the first uh, set of positive sequence components right just remember in mind that for the positive sequence we will denote it with one as super secret for the negative sequence we will represent it with the negative sequence components so how negative sequence components will be drawn they will be that VA will be fixed on its position whereas VB and VC right they will take the phase shift right so now let me draw it that VA will remain on its position whereas VB and VC here we have this VC and here we have this as VB right so we can say that VA to VC to and here we have VB of 2 right so these are the negative sequence components that can be drawn right so after drawing it then we will draw the zero sequence networks zero sequence components so for zero sequence components as we have the knowledge that this is about zero degree of phase displacement means the and they will be equal in magnitude so what we will do we'll have this one as VA of 0 VB of 0 and VC of 0 VA of 0 V B of 0 and here we have this as VC of 0 right so we have drawn all these three components right so now by drawing by using this what we will what we can draw we can draw it for uh, for making an unsymmetrical phasor into a symmetric by uh, we will synthesize an unsymmetrical phasors by using these three sets of symmetrical phasors okay so let me start it but before drawing it we must have to know that this unsymmetrical phasor is split into these three symmetrical components right so what we can write here is the mathematical form or mathematical narration of this particular unsymmetrical phasor so for it VA should be VA of 0 plus VA of 1 plus VA of 2 right likewise here we have VB is equal to VB of 0 plus VB of 1 plus 
VB of 2 right and here we have this VC okay now VC will be the component across zero sequence network VC0 plus the component along the positive sequence VC1 and the component along its negative sequence that will be VC right so in this way we can depict the mathematical narration of this particular phaser so after it we can have the symmetrical components of unsymmetrical phasers how we have to draw them and how we have to mathematically narrate them right so let me tell you that the unsymmetrical the unsymmetrical components of sorry the symmetrical components of unsymmetrical phasers unsymmetrical phasers right so in order to draw this what we will do we will just have the original component first of all we will make the original component as you know that we have this original component here we have VC here we have V A and here we have V B right V A V C and here we have this as V B right so in this case we will first of all we will consider this positive components right so in order to get to this positive component and then we will get on negative component and then zero sequence here right so in order to make this what we will do we will just do it just like this that this is VA so now we know that VA1 is on this direction right so we can draw it just like this VA1 right VA1 the other direct the other one is VA2 so now we will draw it just like this this is VA of 2 right and in this third zero sequence components right this is here we have VB of 0 and VA of 0 and VC of 0 which are equal in phase which are equal in magnitude and having the zero phase difference therefore what we will do is VA2 and here this is VA of 0 okay so this is how we can synthesize our first phaser across the by using the symmetrical components across phase A now coming on to the second thing which is VB so now as you can watch that we have this one this VB1 of the positive sequence in the downward direction so we will draw it in the downward direction this is VB of 1 now the second one the negative sequence is on the direction pointed towards the a straight line pointing towards the left side so we will describe it just like this right so this is basically the VB of 2 right and here this is we can have this thing as VB of 0 and here we have this as VB right so we can make it just like this and now the last one the vector C 
so in order to convert this into vector c what we can do we will have this as we see whereas in this case the positive sequence we have vc1 just like this so we will draw it vc1 here right this is vc of 1 now you can watch that this vc2 is having downward direction so vc2 is having downward direction as we are drawing it so now the third thing is the same one as vb0 va0 so here we have this as vc of 0 and here we have vc right so in this way we can have a full fledged diagram of the unsymmetrical phasors which is com uh, which is synthesized by using the asymmetrical components right so now we will do its mathematics in order to describe the phasors what we what we will do is to take a function operator function operator let's assume that this function operator is alpha and its value is magnitude is 1 and its phase difference is 120 degree as you know that the process of multiplication of the phasors alpha so alpha square is 1 into 120 degree into 1 into 120 degree so now these two magnitudes will be multiplied and in the result we will get it 1 whereas 120 degree plus 120 degree it will become 240 degree right so alpha square will become 1 into angle of 240 degree right so now as you know that vb of 0 and vc of 0 right in fact we can write it here just like this so we can have vb of 0 is equal to v of 0 and also vc of 0 can also be written as in the form of va of 0 right so now i will tell you that why we have introduced this particular uh, function operator alpha because we want to write the all the equations all the uh, components into with respect to VA so VB1 this VB1 will be equal to A square into VA of 1 means the difference the angle difference between VA 1 and VB1 will be equal to A square how VA 1 it will be just like this up to here up to this point it will be making 120 degree and then up to this point right it will be 240 degree right so we can draw it just like this that a square v a 1 whereas v c 1 it will become a into v a 1 where the angle is equal to 120 degree right so we can have this thing now when writing the negative components we can write vb2 is equal to that for vb2 we can watch that here we have va2 and here we have this is vb2 so the angle between va2 and vb2 as you can watch that here is va2 and here we have vb2 or you can watch that here this angle right this angle this particular angle so this can be equal to 120 degree therefore we can write it just like this that 
a into v a one. Likewise, the angle v c two will be a square and v a two. Sorry, here we have to write v a two. Okay, so now we have this equation. As now you know that we have the equation previously, which is written over here. That uh, here we have v a is equal to these three components vb of these three components and vc can be divided into into a uh, zero sequence positive and negative sequence so therefore these equations will be just like uh, based on these particular values these particular values the above equations that i have narrated here these three equations v a v b and v c will take this particular form v a is equal be remained same v a of 0 plus v a of 1 plus v a of 2 okay whereas v b will become v a of 0 plus a square v a 1 we have to place this value v b 1 and then the third value is of v c 1 so placing this value of v c 1 here a v 1 right now we know that placing the value of v c vc of 0 is equal to pa of 0 vc1 is av1 and then this value a square va2 right sorry i have placed this value here right and here we have this as and here we have this a square v a2 right so these are the three values that we have found found out now converting these three equations into matrix form converting equations into converting into matrix form matrix form for our ease we can name these equations let me name these equations let's say this is 1 2 here we have this as equation 3 likewise here this equation is equation all these equations can be named as a single equation that is equation 4 here is 5 here is 6 and then this is the equation 7 now we will write the equation 8 that will be these three components va vb and vc will be written here just like this and now in place of va what we can write is this 1 1 and 1 right here we have both v a 0 and v a 0 so we will write it 1 and 1 now here we have a square so we can write it a square here we have a so we will write it a here we have again a so we will write its value here and then it is a square so we will write its value a square and now we will check that this is v a of 0 this is v a of 1 and here we have v a of 2 this is basically this can be if this matrix can be named as matrix a right then we can write it as a into v a of 0 v a of 1 and v a of 2 okay so here we can have this type of equations okay 
let us name this as equation a okay so as we know a is equal to 1 1 1 here is 1 here is 1 here is a square a a and a square right so we can finding it we can find its inverse so we can write that finding its inverse now as this is the 3 cross 3 matrix so its inverse will become 1 by 3 into here by applying the previous rules of linear algebra in which you use a joint of a divided by a determinant right so I have done the same for finding its inverse I am not solving it you have to solve it yourself as you have already taken the course of linear algebra so now we can write it just like this that VA of 0 VA of 1 and VA of 2 this will become 1 by 3 1 1 1 here is again 1 and here is again 1 and now writing it as a square a square and a right so we can have this as v a v b and here we have v c so now we can write it as a inverse v a v b and v c right so as you can see here don't forget that i have in this a square and a were just like this that here we have a, a square here and a here while we have this a here and a square on this place right so we must have to know that there are several changes several modifications while taking the inverse of this a matrix right so you have to take the inverse and solve it yourself in order to find it and uh, likewise we can have this equation and now how i can how i have achieved this equation i have simply placed my values of va of 0 va of 1 and va of 2 here so i have obtained my this equation that v a v b and v c right so now v a of 0 will become 1 by 3 right this one into v a plus v b plus v c just i am opening these values okay here for your ease I can place this tree okay so now you will multiply these with this now VA of 1 will become 1 by 3 VA now we know the value of VB right it is equal to A VB sorry plus the third one is a square this a square vc right likewise here we have va of 2 is equal to 1 over 3 right this va will remain same whereas here we have a square vb and plus a into vc so this will become our final equations so uh, but let me tell you that students are asking that uh, sir how you have achieved this particular equation right so tell me that 
this equation has been achieved by multiplying equation 8 on both sides by a inverse okay so basically I have done this thing so when you multiply this then a inverse and a will cancel out and you will have this VA of 0 VA1 and VA2 here so these are here all alone whereas a inverse is multiplied by its right hand side uh, sorry left uh, left hand side so a inverse into va vb and vc that's how we have achieved this particular equation right so after it we can find out the values of ia ib and ic so uh, I am not finding them here you can just consult your book for these values I am just writing them in the direct form ok IA it, it has totally similar process as I have depicted so as I have described that IA will be equal to IA of 0 IA of 1 plus IA of 2 likewise IB will be a of 0 plus a square i a of 1 plus a into i a of 2 likewise i c will become i a of 0 plus a into i a of 1 plus a square into i a of 2 so after solving these we can have exactly the similar components right so in some books you will find it in the form of voltages whereas in the some lectures by some honorable professors you can also find that they have solved for the currents for the elements of currents so it means that you can find out the symmetrical component uh, you can find out the symmetrical components and by using these symmetrical components you can uh, convert the unsymmetrical phasors into the symmetrical ones okay so this is all from today's lecture we will continue it for the next time thank you